Hi, this is Paul with Alpha Rain. I wanted to talk to you about frequently asked questions on our energy efficient roof systems. And this question is the one at the top and it's why do I have a hot roof? Um, might seem like a simple question, but it actually is a pretty broad question. I don't want to make this video too long, but we're going to get into a little detail. And um, there's three ways that heat is transferred. You have radiant, convective, and direct heat. Those three ways are really the reason why your roof is hot, but having a hot roof is an issue in this sense. If you have an asphalt roof, um, you're going to have a lot of issues with the fact that if you're, if you have a roof that's over 150 degrees surface temperature, which is not hard to achieve, uh, you have direct sun and it's even 85, 90 degrees, your roof, your surface of your asphalt roof will be over 150 degrees. And if you get on your roof in your in basic tennis shoes, you'll actually, your shoes over, you know, 10 minutes will start to melt. That's how hot that roof is. And it'll damage your roof because the tar grain, the tar won't be able to hold the granules. And when you walk on it, it'll actually loosen them up. Um, I've damaged many a roofs that went off uh, because we're putting, a new roof by walking on it. Uh, I've even melted start the soles of my shoes because they weren't thick enough. So, anyways, that is a hot roof, right? And you ask me, well, um, is that a problem? Well, having a roof that gets too hot is a problem. Uh, but you need to think of what's underneath it. Is your attic that hot? And the answer, and if you read through the description on this, I, I have a whole blog that I've done that I've linked to, uh, that you can read through and get a little more information, but you'll see in that blog that, uh, one of the roofs we tested, it was 85 degrees outside and it was 150 degrees surface temperature, over 150 degrees surface temperature on the actual shingles. And then inside the attic was also 150 degrees. Creates a huge problem uh, because now you're talking about your attic not venting properly. And all that 150 degrees inside your attic is now fighting your AC unit, which means you're going to spend more money uh, trying to cool your home. Even if you're trying to keep your home at 90 degrees, it's going to be an issue. It might be 85 outside, but your your house will feel like it's fighting against 150 degrees in your attic. So all that to say, um, this is just a piece of, of metal, a of roofing material, a little dusty. Um, and when it gets hot, it's going to transfer that heat through. Now, if you want to not transfer that heat through to your decking and all the way through to your attic, and then your attic is going to be transferring that all the way through to your house, you need to think about a system that will keep that hot air out of your attic and then the hot air from transferring into your actual home, making your AC work extra hard and cost you a lot of money. So how do you do that? Well, you have to deal with all three ways that heat is transferred. Uh, you have to stop all three ways. And some people will say, there's no way to stop all, all three of them. Uh, but I would disagree because we have, and we've done that by in our panel that is called the therm event. Now this panel has grooves in it and it's installed actually upside down just like that. And we put a radiant barrier down first and I'm going to show you a full sample. And, um, basically, um, now we're a metal roofing company and we've designed this and you're saying, well, I want asphalt. I don't know why you want asphalt, but, uh, you can install this on asphalt roof. We've done it. And uh, you have to get another installer to actually install your asphalt roof, but you can get these panels and uh, have them installed by your roofing company. So how this works, this stops the direct transfer of the heat. If you think about a coffee cup that's styrofoam, that coffee cup that's styrofoam, it is stopping that direct heat. When you hold it on, when you hold with your hand, the coffee cup, that heat is not transferring through to your hand to your hand. Now, on converse, 
uh, cardboard is a great transfer of heat. Go get a cardboard cup from Starbucks or wherever and don't put the sleeve on it and get the piping hot coffee and then hold it. You're going to hold that thing for about five to 10 seconds unless the feeling of your hand is completely gone and at that point it doesn't matter. But you're going to hold that for a couple of seconds. You're going to go, I got to set it down. I got to do something. Um, that is transferring that direct heat. But with the styrofoam coffee cup, it's not. Well, okay, this panel is uh, about 10 times thicker than a coffee cup, right? And it's going to stop that direct heat from coming through. So um, that stops the direct heat. The convective heat is uh, turkey in an oven. The hot air is cooking the turkey. And so these grooves allow for the venting to go through. Now let me pull out this bigger sample. Ugh. We actually had to make a smaller sample. This thing's huge for a sample. But I'm going to flip it around. Ugh. And you can see the grooves. And you can also see the radiant barrier, which is right in there. Now, this stops the transfer of the heat, uh, and it also releases the convective through the venting. We vent at the bottom and the top. We actually vent by kicking out the drip edge. Oh, this panel is a little big. Kick out the drip edge a little bit, allow venting to go in underneath and onto Sorry about that. the panels here. And then at the top, we have a ridge vent that vents. And um, this system will stop all the three ways. So the question about a hot roof is that, you know, the question is, I have a hot roof and is it a problem? Well, um, the surface of your roof, even with this panel system, it's, it's still going to get uh, it's still going to get hot. Uh, but you're allowing the venting underneath your vent. We're also venting the attic and getting that hot air out of your attic. Your roof is going to be so much better. If you're going to walk on that, if you have to get up there, if a mason has to get up there or something, it's going to be so much safer. If he puts his hand out, it's going to burn his hand off. Uh, now, if it's 100 degrees outside, it's going to be at least 100 degrees on the on the roof surface but or a little hotter. But at least we're venting that air from underneath it. Uh, if you can imagine if it's 100 degrees outside and it's beating down all three ways that heat's transferred right on your roof and your attic is just basically collecting all that air and it doesn't have proper way to vent it, you're, you're doing so much bad, so many bad things uh, for your roof and your insulation. Uh, even your decking uh, can have issues and be compromised. And so um, even your insulation in your attic, you say, well, I have lots of insulation in my attic. I don't need to get this roof venting system. Well, take out half the insulation or even more than that because guess what? If your roof is 150 degrees, it's not venting properly. And your attic insulation, you're going to need an R70 to keep up with 150 degrees. Um, no, no insulation should be made to handle that 150 degrees. We're not building houses on Mars. So um, check us out online. You can look through other frequently asked questions. And also coming new uh, on our website, we're going to be having uh, a place where you can actually go in. You can uh, log in and actually ask us questions. I'll answer them. I'll even make a video if it's a good question. So make it good. All right, check us out online, alpharain.com. And if you're already there, give us a call. We can answer any more questions you might have. Thanks.